Hello friends, once again welcome to Tech with us. Friends in software testing, many of the new test engineers have confusion in using terminologies like error, defect, bug and failure. Sometimes you might have also heard that these all terminologies are just synonyms and can be used whenever there is a software malfunction. But that's not true. Individually, each one has its own meaning and should be used wisely. In this short video, let's try to understand each one of them with their corresponding examples. I frequently make such informative video. You can consider subscribing my channel for all upcoming updates. So let's start. Let's start with our first term, error. An error is nothing but a mistake introduced by a human at any stage of the software development. It has a kind of propagating nature. Means you might have heard, as long as an error stays in the system, it harms the system more. For example, a requirement error may be magnified during design phase and amplified still more during coding phase. There could be various factors which can result in an error. Like for example, an error could be due to misunderstanding of the customer requirements, an analyst introduced an error in the requirement document. And if it gets undetected, it can propagate to design and coding phase. On the other hand, defect, fault or bug is a result or representation of an error or mistake. And the formal technical term for fault or defect is bug. And the process of finding and correcting the bugs is called as debugging. Similar to an error, a defect can be arise at any stage of software development lifecycle. Just to get a better understanding between error and defect, we can have examples of error of omission and error of commission. Error of omission result in something desirable has been missed out from the system. Similarly, error of commission result in something incorrect has been implemented. A failure occurs when a fault executes. In simple term, you can say that the software cannot perform its function or even perform it in an undesirable way. There could be various symptoms like undesired output or unexpected behavior shown by the system under failure conditions. This could be a quick summary diagram which represents the relationship among error, defect and failure. You can clearly observe here all error results in defect but not necessarily all defect will become failure. Means few defect can still be there in the system but cannot block its functionality like color of an UI. So here we come to end of this video. I hope the information provided is helpful. Thanks for watching.